Today we're going to do a quick video on the Browning BLR. It is a Browning, and the interesting thing about this Browning, it was not invented by John Browning. This in here was invented by Carl R. Lewis, which is also the guy that invented the Dan Wesson, the Colt Woodsman, uh, among other things. I think he also invented a grenade launcher and stuff. He grew up in an orphanage and later worked for Browning. And anyhow, let's let's look at this action, see how it works. We can take a look at how this thing works. See how the lock and load looks. Take a look at that bolt. Yeah, it's got these, you know it's Trigger comes out with the with the hammer, or I mean with the lever. Take down feature right here. Pop the hold open. It's really easy to clean when it's like that. This gun's a very strong action. You know, the 300 short mag, it, it produces about, oh, let's get that together. It produces, you know, about 64, 65,000 PSI, which is a lot of pressure. Let's see if we can get the sun angle at this right so you can see these. Some are some massive locking loads. Let's pop this thing apart again. I'll show you the, the barrel end of the receiver. Look at those locking loads. Six locking loads. And see the way the the bolt is shaped, the locking lugs and the and the grooves on the bolt line up because this this bolt just you see they can't move them locking lugs can't move until they get past these grooves. Let's see if I can shine it down in here. You can see when they come up. See where they come all the way up. I hope you can see down in there. Boom, that's where they're going to turn at. Let's see how they're, they're going in grooves in the receiver as they're going down. Oops, sorry about that. A little shaking. But that's, that's how it works. It's a pretty neat little gun. It's light. It's only probably about six and a quarter pounds. Uh, holds... Uh, Holds three in the magazine, one in the chamber, so four rounds total. I haven't had any problem with locking that, that, that the barrel would be, you know, different enough that you could tell with the scope. It doesn't shoot to different points of aim. You know, after you take the barrel off and put it back on, it still shoots to the same point. Really nice gun. Put that magazine in there, fits right in there, you take it out just like that. Alright, let's load the magazine. All there is to it. Alright, we're going to shoot 180 grain, then we're going to shoot one of these uh, Nosler partitions and just see what what the difference is. All right, the 180 grain is up first. Let me 
cut this back up real quick. Barrel gets hot pretty fast. All right, check out the carnage. These pants are about to get shot to pieces. Let's see. 180 grain hit here, which you see it doesn't do as much damage as this 165 grain partition bullet. I mean, if you just look at the carnage, I mean, you can stick your finger way up in there. This in here, you can stick your finger in there, but it's not as easy. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a lot bigger hole. You see how much is pushed up in there? Look at the difference in that. This is a big crater. This is a lot smaller. Hundred and eighty grain over here. Hundred and sixty-five. That's pushed up in there pretty good as far as the pressure on it. Starting to slow down a lot. Right, a hundred and 80 grain bullet right here. Span it out pretty good. Put it right here. Look how much stuff is pulled through the holes. 165 still going. Okay, let's see. It stopped in that pair. So that's one more pair. Two more pairs of pants. Three more pairs of pants. Stopped in the fourth, fourth more pair of pants. Let me get that out of the way. Let me find it right quick. Okay, we found it. Here is that 180 grain. Here's the other one we shot a second ago. And it lost its core. And both these partitions expanded so much they lost whatever lid is in the front. But then they still got the back half, you know, with lead that pushed it on through. And you could see it went through four more pairs of pants. And so that's, uh, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of power. Let's see how many total the partition went through. Okay, these partitions went through 12 pairs of pants. These are 150 grain SST Hornaday bullets. I'm gonna shoot one of them into the wet pants and see how it does. All right, gonna shoot the Hornaday SST 150 grain bullet at 3,400 feet a second using some Superformance powder and our Magnum primers and the SST. Let's shoot it into these wet pants and see what she does. It has a little bit of recoil but this rubber butt pad pretty much tames it down. I don't know if you can see it there but it's pretty Pretty soft. It's a well-built rifle. It handles the recoil good. And uh, let's go up there and let's see what she did. Well, looking in this, you couldn't tell it even hit it, but there it's coming out. Oh, uh, there's a big hole in there. You can. 
definitely wiggle your finger around inside. See how much bigger it's getting. Come through there. Into there. I mean, that's a pretty good, pretty good size hole going up in them pants. I refolded them all to try to give, I mean, the size of that wound channel would be, you know, at least that big. I mean, if it expands pants out that big, you know, it'd be expanding meat and skin out like that. Look at that thing, it's still going. Starting to slow down and lose its hydro shock, but it's still going. Whoop, stopped right here somewhere. Let's take a look at these pants. See if we can find that. Didn't, didn't go there. There she is right there. Why do they always end up being in the pocket? A lot of these. There's some lead that was on the end of it. Mm, the bullet. Well, it's pretty much loaded up. Get all this pants up so we can see what it looks like. I guess I'm not even aimed at it. Sorry about that. Anyhow, this is all that's really left of that. It's a boat tail, soft point bullet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well, it actually stopped in this, and so I'd say nine and a half. Okay, to sum up what our conclusion is, this Browning BLR is an awesome longer range gun capable of a thousand yards or more uh not saying you should ever shoot a game animal at anything over two or three hundred but i mean you could it's got the power to reach on out there you know to five or six hundred yards it's accurate uh i haven't done a video on its accuracy but it'll shoot between a half inch and an inch at 100 yards, five shot group. I have some that's a little bit bigger than that, but I'm working on different powder loads. Mostly I do uh, super performance powder, and I like the Hornaday's uh, SST 150 grain so far.